Tomorrow morning, a South Jersey restaurant owner will undergo a kidney transplant to save his life. He's battled health issues for years, but tomorrow his life will change thanks to a familiar face. Here's Eyewitness News reporter David Spunt. As doctors, nurses, and patients paced through the busy hallways of Hahnemann University Hospital Tuesday night, Scott Jemison, 45 minutes away, prepared for a four-hour dialysis on the eve of a life-changing surgery. I don't listen to the statistics. They don't bother me. I don't care about them. I just know I always live. 55-year-old Jemison is tough. Born with cystic fibrosis, he had a double lung transplant in his 30s and two bouts of cancer. Now he needs a kidney or he'll die. This machine takes 10% of my blood is always out of my body in the machine being cleaned through this filter, which, like I said, is my artificial kidney. His wife, Carolyn, is constantly by his side. She happens to be a nurse, and that's how they met. He was her patient two decades ago. I'm the easiest patient you ever had. <laughs> in the hospital, he was a wonderful patient. Carolyn and Scott spend hours each day monitoring his dialysis. Finding a perfect kidney match for anyone takes time. But someone was watching over this couple. Because it turns out, Carolyn wasn't only his perfect match for a wife. I was in shock. I mean, what are, what are the odds that, you know, the woman I met in love is now a match? And not only that, She's already given me so much. Carolyn told me she's honored to donate a kidney to her husband here at Hahnemann Hospital. Nervous isn't even in her vocabulary. I think it's just so unusual that I would be considered in lieu of the fact that, you know, he has so many issues and that it would be such a close match. And I'm such an or a proponent of organ donation. The two expect to be at the hospital through the weekend, but as soon as they get home, Scott Jemison insists he won't be sitting around. He'll be out enjoying his new kidney and a chance at life. I always say there's two people to work, you know, those that work to live and those that live to work. And I'm just one of those people. I live to work. I like to work. I mean, I'm, I'm not built to sit on the sofa. He expects to celebrate his 100th birthday. David Spunt, CBS3 Eyewitness News.